Welcome to the Dixie Bell YouTube channel. My name is Amy and I'm from the channel Flip It Furniture. Today we're making over these three tables using only these three products. For a list of these products and where to buy them, check out the description box below. Now let's flip it. First step is to clean our piece. So today we're using the Pristine Clean Furniture Cleaner. Cleaner comes in a powder form. So you can add two tablespoons to every gallon. Now you want to add it to some warm water. The warm water will help dissolve the powder while you're mixing. And I usually just use my rag to mix. And be sure to wear your gloves. There is TSP in this cleaner along with some other cleaning additives. You want to be sure to always clean your piece before painting. This cleaner gets rid of dirt, debris, and it even degreases. You only want to use this cleaner when you're prepping your furniture for paint. And don't forget about the insides of your drawers or a table or anything because the inside is just as important as the outside. When you're done cleaning, it's very important that you go back with a damp cloth with only water, no cleaner on it, and make sure that you give your piece a wipe down because you don't wanna leave any residue from the cleaner on your piece either. When the piece is dry, my next step is to scuff sand the surface. Using a sanding net over my sanding block because my sanding block is a little dull. So this works really great too. And this is a 120 grit. I just need to go over the entire surface to scuff sand it before using silk. As you can see, there was some gouges on the corners. So I did do a little bit of extra sanding over those. But for the rest of the piece, I'm just gonna take my sanding block and just move it across. Nice and gently, you don't have to press hard, you just wanna scuff up the piece so that your silk paint adheres properly. When I'm scuff sanding, I usually use anywhere between a 120 and a 180 grit. I'm using the all-in-one silk paint in the color Black Sands. Whenever I use silk, I always use the Scarlet brush. It's my go-to brush for silk and slick stick. I find that I get the smoothest finish when I'm using the Scarlet brush. The brush is flat and the bristles are soft yet firm. So I have minimal brush strokes and I really don't have to use a lot of effort. And that's really important when you're using silk because you can't use your water mister. With chalk paint, it smooths out with water. With silk, you just need to rely on your brush and the drying time. Really important to let your silk dry before adding another coat. So Dixie Belle recommends two hours of drying time in between your coats. During that two hours of drying time, the paint self levels. So you'll get your best results if you're just patient and you wait for it to dry completely. A good tip when you're using silk paint is to not overwork it. You don't wanna go back and forth and back and forth because your paint will start to drag. You just want to apply it, you know, make sure you get a nice, smooth, even application, and then move on. I like to apply it in long strokes in rows. That way you don't have to keep going over the same section. Just a quick recap. When you're using silk, you wanna make sure that you're not using water. To get the best results, you wanna use a synthetic brush, a high quality, and I recommend the Scarlet brush. Apply your paint in long, minimal strokes, and most importantly, let it dry before you apply your second coat. Because during that drying time is when all the self-leveling happens. Following these few guidelines, I have just fallen in love with silk. I love the silky smooth. It has like a semi satin finish and it's just gorgeous. It's so buttery and nice. It has the sealer, the top coat and the paint all in one. It's just really easy to use. So if you're doing one color, I highly recommend using this silk. If you are going to do some blending or shading and stuff like that, then I would go back to the chalk paint because you wanna use your water mister for blending and you can't do that with the silk. But the silk is great if you're only using one color.
Here's what it looks like after just one coat. For only one coat, that's really good coverage. We do need to add one more coat though, just to make sure that we have full coverage. I didn't apply my second coat until the next day, but you don't have to wait that long. The two hours is just fine. I always find this second coat to be really easy to apply. The first coat is dry and smooth, so the surface is nice and silky. So your second coat just glides on right over it. Since silk is an all-in-one and it has the built-in sealer, I'm not gonna worry about sealing the base of this piece or the other pieces, but I am gonna add an extra coat of protection to the top. Now because these are tables, these are two side tables and a coffee table, I'm going to use the extra coat. The extra coat is equivalent to Dixie Belle's gator hide, so you would use it the same exact way. I pour my extra coat in a separate container because I'm using the blue sponge and it doesn't really fit in the extra coat. So just to make your life easier, pour it in another container or maybe on a paper plate. I always apply extra coat in rows. I'm being very careful not to skip any parts because I don't want there to be any streaking and you don't want to overwork it. So you just want to go in long strokes from one side to the other and you want to make sure that you're just smoothing it out. I wouldn't go over the same section more than two or three times and the only reason I go over it more than once is to make sure that I have an even application. If you notice that there is a spot missing in one of your rows, don't worry about it because you can cover it in your next coat. Too much time has gone by already, so if you go back up and cover it at this point, then you're gonna get streaking. It'll drag the extra coat and it just won't be pretty. And that's usually when all the problems start. So don't worry about it and come back, you know, two hours after this first coat's dry and then apply your second coat. And that's what I did. I applied two coats waiting two hours in between. Here's a reminder of before. And here they are now with a completely new look. I love that I was able to give three pieces a makeover using only three products. Best part is there's product left over to use on other projects. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.